In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to budgeting, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question, budget figures are developed A, from the top down, B, from the bottom up, C, by the CFO, D, by the CEO, E, based on last year's numbers. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Budget uh, figures are developed, A, from a top-down. So if we, we might see that and say, I'm not even sure what we're talking about, top-down. And then B says from a bottom-up. So again, we might say, I, I'm not really sure on those two. And then C says by the CFO, which is a chief financial officer. That sounds kind of reasonable, possibly. And E says by the CEO, chief executive officer, office, another big person of the company. Seems kind of reasonable. And then E says, based on last year's numbers. And we know that that's kind of the starting point of a budget. So the first one I'm going to re remove is, is going to be E here, however, because anytime that a budget process in a formal, in a question says it's only based on the last year's numbers, it, it's not normally going to be the answer. It's got to qualify that somewhere. The last year's numbers are the starting point. They aren't, we can't just take last year's numbers and roll them forward. It doesn't, that's not how the budgeting process is going to work, at least for uh, a book problem so it's not going to be e so let's go through this again budget figures are developed either from a top down or bottom up and then we've got the cfo or the ceo now of these four these two the cfo and the ceo would indicate that all the figures are developed by one person in the organization the cfo or the ceo as if they just kind of like one person's going to when a big company they're going to know how to do the whole entire budget with no help that's that's not going to happen. That's not the way it's going to work. So so it's not going to be these. And notice that the CFO and the CEO also line up to what we would think of as a top-down approach. In other words, we're talking about the structure of the organization being, you know, these are the big guys at the top making the decision top-down. And then they just communicate that decision. And, you know, it's kind of like the coach making the plan without discussing it with any of the players or whatever. And then just telling the players what to do from a top-down approach. And so uh, A then would line up with either a CFO or CEO, you would think as well. So, and really what we want here, typically we're thinking that the budget for a larger company is often gonna be a bottom-up type approach. Again, a very small company is probably gonna be completely run by like a, it's almost like a dictatorship, right? Because it's a small company and the one owner's doing, 